Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Weir, and I gotta tell you, I love life. But when I'm not being a husband, a father, a grandfather, an author, or a practicing chiropractor, I'm the host of the television show, Loving Life with Dr. Tim Weir. I love to cook. I love to travel. I like to spend time with people who do what they love and love what they do. Join me and Elvis for the next 30 minutes as we help you discover how to love life. Hey, we've got a great show set up for you. I'm telling you, we're amazing guests, all kinds of stuff. So let's get right to the show. I love creative people. You've heard me say it 250,000 times, but I love people who come up with concepts and ideas and then have the guts to stand up and do it. I'm with Joshua Gruder from a place called porchfly.com. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Here, I'm gonna write you a little jingle. Porchfly.com. That's it. There we go. <laughs> so talk to me, how did this all come about? Porchfly came about in 2013. I had just moved back here from Washington, D.C. and was looking to start my own company. And uh, well, actually, I'll back up Porchfly. The story of that and the idea of it was born a little bit before that when I lived in New Orleans. And this was right after Hurricane Katrina. Wow. And we came back right after the storm. Uh, we're trying to help get a couple bars, a couple restaurants up and going that were having some problems. Built a little bar on my front porch just for everybody to hang out after work. And uh, after a couple of weeks, we started noticing people were coming into the neighborhood and coming up on the porch, asking to have a couple drinks, hang out. And when I would be ready to go to bed, they would still be on the porch drinking. And so oh, I started wow. calling them porch flies. <laughs> Instead, you know, as a play on bar fly. And so fast forward a few years, when I get ready to start the company, what we originally wanted to do was create something that was gonna bring community together and bring people together into a common good. And so the name fit. Wow. Yeah. So what's what do you do? What What's the whole purpose behind it? Absolutely. So the, the purpose or the mission basically is to create unique goods at an affordable price. That's the main mission. And that can, that can take on any, it can manifest in a lot of different ways. What we've really done over the years, we've done a lot of different apparel. We've dabbled in soap. We've dabbled in leather goods. And one of our newest revenue streams that's actually doing really well for us right now is uh, all natural soy vegan candles. Really? Yeah, and I brought a couple for you today. Yeah, to let's you. look at them. Yeah. And I brought a couple of shirts for you to see. We're big whiskey fans at Porch Fly, so we've got a lot of whiskey based apparel. Wow. Yeah. Here's one candle. It's called Tobacco Road. Each nine ounce candle comes Man, in. That a, smells good. Thank you. I appreciate it. They all come in a really nice two piece luxury box. And each candle through here, they're all nine ounces. They're made with all natural hemp. That's what the wicks are made out of. The reason why that was important to us is, I'm not sure if you've known it, but over the last year and a half, North Carolina has made the push to allow the production and cultivation of industrial hemp. And I right. think that's gonna be a great thing for the farming community in North Carolina. Yeah. So we wanted to celebrate and support that. And so we switched over from our all natural wooden wicks over to hemp. And you gotta uh, jump on the market. That's one of our favorite shirts. That's a new one. It's called Body by Bourbon. <laughs> People are really loving that. And you can see with the shirts, they're all a nice suede material. I'm telling you, this is super gorgeous. Soft. Yeah. And I actually brought this one for you today. This is one of our new Raleigh circuitry designs. We do a lot oh, of- Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, we do a lot of Raleigh based stuff too. And we thought this would be a fun one for you since you're close to the city of Raleigh. So who, who actually sits down and, and designs that? So my business partner and I, we come up with everything. So I have one business partner. We sit down, have a glass of whiskey, figure out what we want to do next, come up with the designs and sit down and do it in Illustrator. When something sticks, you know, I show it to my wife and, and my mom and a couple other people and they're the hardest critics. So I know if they love it, everybody else will. And if they buy it. Exactly. And yeah. if they like it, we go ahead and release it. And luckily we've had a lot of success so far with the candles. We have about 20 cents now and people are loving them. We got wow. them in about 50 to 60 stores throughout the Southeast. So how cool is that though, to come up with these, I'm just gonna say it, just weird ideas that probably oh, no, they are. nobody yeah. else thinks about. That's, well, that's the beauty of it, though. The, the idea of owning your own small business, in my opinion, is to take something that didn't exist before exactly. and create it and market it. And it's a plus if people like it as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we can sell it. Okay, now nobody's listening right now. Okay. <clears throat> What's the next thing? 
on the drawing board? I don't know yet. It's, it's not something that we've necessarily figured out yet. What we are really excited about is we have finally, oh, we're getting ready to open our own retail shop. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've always, by design, not opened our own retail shop because you know, why pay money and rent somewhere every month if exactly. you can sell off your website and then sell in a lot of really amazing retail stores around the country. But we finally wanted a spot of our own. And so in, in a, I would say probably about August or September in downtown Raleigh, we'll have our retail shop open. That's really cool. Yeah, we're excited about it. Tell me when it happens. we Will do. Porchfly.com, you gotta go there. What great gifts, fun things to give to everybody else. They do, they make great gifts. Don't change the channel, right? We got more coming up. Of course. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hey, you know me, I love people who do what they love and love what they do, and that's what you've got to do if you want to be a good, happy, healthy person. I'm with Terrell. She's known as the Carrot Cake Lady. I don't know why. Yes. Wow. How long have you been doing this? I mean, did you cook as a kid? Absolutely. First of all, thank you for having me oh, here today. It's an thank honor. you. Thank you. Yes, I started at the early age of 15. Uh, baking carrot cakes. Actually, a customer or a neighbor gave me a carrot cake. And so that was my first introduction to carrot cake, which was so delicious. So from that point on, I you have were just hooked. loved, yes, hooked. Absolutely. So now, three years later, did you get that from 15? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are with not just one carrot cake, but you have all of these different things. I do. We have the miniature carrot cakes, which is my signature cake. These make great gifts. And they're, um, it's a small cake, but it is a lot of cake. So a lot of people like this to give as gifts. Then we have the mini loaves, which are these here. Those are cute. And they make great gifts as yeah. well. Now the difference, a lot of customers ask, what is the difference between a mini loaf and a cupcake? Well, the difference that I tell people is the cupcake, if you like more icing, then you would go with the cupcake. 
if you want something more cakey, then you would go with the mini loaf here. Well, then I would have to do the cupcakes. The cupcake, I love icing. icing. Yeah, the icing is really good. And the thing about the icing, the icing and the cake actually balances out. Sometimes you run across a cake where the icing is too sweet, mm -hmm. so you find yourself scraping off the icing. Exactly. Well, some people would. Yeah, but in this particular case, the icing and the cake balances, so it's really good together. Wow. And then, of course, the big daddy of them we all. We have the Big Mama, which is a large carrot cake. It's actually a three-layer, nine-inch cake, and it's very moist as well. How did you go from doing this in your kitchen to going out and selling these to people? Did people just start naturally coming to you? Well, actually, I took it from the kitchen to the farmer's market first. Really? Absolutely. Yes, I was given the opportunity um, to go there from Mama Dip. I'm not sure if you know Mama Dip in Chapel Hill. But she told me to go to the North Carolina State Farmer's Market. That way you can see if you have a product that customers would actually like. And if they do, they will continue to buy. Yeah. So that was my first start there. And then from there, it went on to the Butcher's Market. Great store, by the way. Absolutely. Great store. Absolutely. Butcher's Absolutely. Market's on Falls of the News, by the way. Absolutely. Um, can I try one of these? Absolutely. I'd love for you to. What do I try? One so, of these? Would you like something cakey or would you like more icing? I got to do the icing thing. Absolutely. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. That has nuts, which are pecans or pecans. I'm allergic to them, so I'm going to eat them. Oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Now, I can already tell. You can feel the moisture. It's very moist, yeah. very moist. Father, forgive me for what I am about to do. Absolutely. It's right down the middle. Absolutely, it's a surprise for you. It's right down you. the middle. How crazy, oh my God. And you are so right, it is so balanced. Exactly, exactly. Not too sweet, not too plain, but I'm telling you, it is so moist. Moist and delightful. So, everything's carrot cake. Everything is carrot cake, just different configurations. Are you going, you're gonna stick with carrot cakes? That is the plan, but we never know what's gonna hold, what the future holds. I, I always say, if you find a good thing, stick with it. Absolutely, it. I would love to just stay with carrot cake. Wow. So you're at the Farmer's Market here in Raleigh, Butcher's Market, and in a couple of weeks, you're gonna start shipping again. Absolutely, we're looking at um, the end of October, 1st of November. And, the, and really, the, the problem with shipping is it melts. Absolutely. Because of the heat of summer. Because of the heat, absolutely. Okay. I love this. You know why? Oh, thank you. Because you're, you actually stepped out of the proverbial boat and onto the water. Didn't know whether it was gonna hold you up or not. Absolutely. But you just did it. Absolutely. How awesome are you? Oh, thank you. So listen, you might have some ideas in your life, go for it. But what you better go for is go get some of this cake because it is delicious. Listen, keep loving life. Don't change the channel. Hi, my name is Anita. I was in an accident with whiplash, medium, and lower back pain, and I came to Raleigh Injury Chiropractic, and I believe it was the best thing i ever done. The staff here is wonderful. Dr. Weir is great. You might couldn't ask for nothing else better in Raleigh, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to maintain my health. Hey, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. If you want results like Anita, call our office today. 
919-790-1332. Call right now. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hey, have you ever wondered about your life, how things happen, what's happening in your life, how it all fits together in the grand scheme, and you would like to talk to somebody about it, or you want to hear somebody who's got the answer? I'm with Dr. Barbara today. Thank you for being with me. Author, blogger, podcast, podcast host. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just yes. awesome. Thank you. So glad to be here. So awesome to have you. Yeah. Glad to be with a fellow loving lifer. Oh, I love Yes, loving life, yeah. So here we are, yeah. and I'm telling you, there's a lot of reasons for people to not love life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about, we're talking about, I love this one, flawed. Flawed is the new fabulous. Moving from shame to authentic confidence, the working title of my book. Uh, and then our, my podcast, uh, the Dr. Barbara, Le Dr. Barbara's Whole Life Show, also addresses these issues. But so many of us have a hard time understanding that we can be flawed and fabulous, that we can be broken. Like I even was talking to one of my uh, one of my staff members at the clinical. I run a I own a clinic and sure. um, supervise my precious precious staff members. And she was saying we were doing evaluations, and she said, "Well, I gave myself a good for that instead of an excellent." And I said, why? I think you're excellent. She's like, well, I'm not perfect. And I said, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even want a psychologist who's perfect. Yeah. Who wants yeah. perfect? We want flawed and fabulous. And so this idea of trying to be perfect and feeling like I have to be perfect to be presentable or that I even have to match my Instagram feed, right? To feel good about myself. Is, is just a farce. And so we want to be able to, to know that we are loved, acceptable, just the way we are, and also press through into doing what we are called to do, doing wh what we are prompted to do, compelled to do in this world, because we're all so needed in this world. And that's the fabulous part. The real you, the real purpose the for real life. The real you, the real purpose. Yeah. Because I, don't you think a lot of people think if people really knew me, they wouldn't like me, they wouldn't be around me, they wouldn't trust me. Yeah. So I, yeah, so I have, a, I have a funny story. A long time ago, my husband was, uh, over the weekend, he was saying, what does that smell? What does that smell? And I, could, I couldn't smell anything, right? And we were walking around and, and then after the second day, he said, you know, I think it's you. And I think that, it, we had gone to Italian on Friday night. And so I think it was like Friday um, or Saturday where he, we figured out uh, that it was the garlic was garlic. coming through my skin and, and, and he was sensitive to smells. But I think we feel that way. Something smells and I think it's me. Right? We have this sense, and I think it's the bane of the human existence. Mm. Here's the good news. If you struggle some with that, you're probably not a narcissist. <laughs> and that's good Which because good. that's, that's the, other, the other piece of it. But we all feel a little bit like an imposter, um, or most of us do. And so we want to work through that um, and know that it's okay to be flawed and fabulous. Yeah, we do want to work on some of those flaws. Some things are going to be somewhat stumbling blocks all of our lives. Like some of us might, maybe that were raised in, let's say, dysfunctional homes. And I can say that I was raised in, I'm an adult child of 
many alcoholics, mm -hmm. right? And so a lot of dysfunction there. And so there are some things I'm gonna struggle with in some ways, you know, at least a little bit, probably this side of heaven. That's okay. We don't have to wait till we've arrived. We can be. And I'm committed, even as someone who's a leader and a leader of women and a leader of a practice, to show vulnerability and authenticity, to not act like I've arrived all the way. So there's hope for anybody. Hope for everyone. Is yes. that awesome or what? That's so great. And here's the other piece that I love to share, is that we do have stuck, we do have hurt places. And, and with those, there is a way to pass through kind of like the phoenix, we might have to go down and smoke and combustion, but to be reborn, to be rebirthed, and to have those flaws and weaknesses come through into greater power, greater purpose, and that we'd be even more effective than what we can be without those hurts, wounds, flaws. Sound like you? Mm, could be. Dr. Barbara Lowe. Dot com. We're going to yes. put that right. Yes. See that right there? Uh -huh. Right here? We're going right. to put that right there so okay. people can see yes. it. Yes. And I have a free gift. I do. I love free. Um, in particular for the women watching, drbarbaralow.com forward slash self care, the 10 self care essential tools for every woman. Be all that you can be. Mm -hmm. Go to bar drbarbaralow.com. Thank mm -hmm. you for being with me. Oh. You're awesome. So awesome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do. One. Can we do more? We can do more. Okay. I love more. More is great. Don't change the channel because we got a lot coming up. Hey, we're back with Dan, the Animal Man, and we have a huge tortoise. Wow! <laughs> yeah, he is a big boy, Doctor. This Weir. guy, he's is 120 huge. pounds. He is the third largest type of tortoise in the world, called the African spur-thighed tortoise. Not to be confused with a turtle. You don't want to put him in water over his head because he could drown. Sure. Okay? He's terrestrial, he lives on the ground, he's got these spurred thighs as part of his armor because in the wild of Africa when the drought strikes and the food for the lion, leopard, cheetah, hyena isn't available, they'll turn to a tortoise 
or other reptiles for that matter, oh, snakes yeah. and lizards and such. Yeah, yeah they, they will expand their territory during that time, but for the most part, they, they will just go to smaller prey, um, small, um, small rodents, they'll eat birds. This creature eats all kinds of good stuff. He eats hay, he eats cucumbers, he likes apples and bananas, he likes a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of cauliflower. Uh, we don't we don't give them too much protein because it's bad for their shell growth. Their shell mm. grows out of control. This is a, um, I told you his name's Frankie, so you assumed he's a male. Um, I want to show you oh. his uh, special weapon. Look at underneath his chin. He has a special weapon. See that fork underneath yeah. his chin? What does that do? That's a goyular scoop. And what he does is in the wild, males fight for territory, so they'll charge each other much like this. Wow. Yeah. You go when they get, get a, close enough, yeah. you, go, you go get a get coffee. Get a cup of coffee. Yeah. And... When they ram each other, they try to hook each other right here with that fork. Ah. They start walking towards each other with the idea that one of them's going to flip each other over. And if a tortoise gets flipped over on his back, he's going to die. Mm. He'll die from heat exhaustion. Because they can't flip back. Right. They can't flip themselves over. Neat creature, huh? Beautiful. Listen, it's all about loving life, isn't it? That's right, that's right. Loving others, too. Check Dan out, and uh, I want to come back. I will, absolutely. You're Hope amazing. you enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, wonderful. Hey, glad you were with me today. I am so glad you make that decision to do that. Listen, I want you to be aware of something, that life is so incredible. But here's what you have to do. You have to figure it out what it is that really gets you going, gets you excited, gets you turned on about life. I love that. So if when you get up in the morning, your feet hit the ground, you got to be ready to rock and roll. So I want you to keep in touch with me. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I try to get on there. I don't try to get on there overly, but I want to give you some information every now and then. So please join our Facebook page. Go to our website, drtimweir.com. We've got new stuff on there all the time. Let's keep loving life together. That's what it's all about. So until next time, keep loving life. He said, all of our trainers wear orange shirts. I had an orange t-shirt. Oh, they all came to me. That's good to know, so. Yeah. Everybody else sued me because of this. Ruined their damn suit.